If it wasn't for Final Fantasy, honestly, I wouldn't be the person who I am today. This way, we're gonna see each other. We're actually gonna have a visual conversation. Take a seat. You look right in the camera. All right, well. Are we ready? Marker. I lived in South Central LA for such a long time, and uh, being in an area that doesn't have a lot of hope and somewhat back in the early 80s, uh, that was my way to escape all the violence and everything. So I think, if anything, video games kind of helped me stay astray from all the other stuff that was going around in my life. We would have to sit there and watch my dad play these video games and you know I loved my dad and he was my role model and I was like oh I want to be like my dad so if he's gonna play video games well I'm gonna play video games. Just being able to have a real gaming system in my hands and able to play it whenever the TV wasn't being used that was the most fun I ever had growing up. I was very I guess we'll say socially awkward young man. My mom got me into a regular Nintendo, and she noticed that when I would play with other kids, uh, I'd have a controller, and they had a controller, and she told me that was the only time that I would really kind of open up and talk to them. So I always kind of say that without video games, I, there's no way that I'd be where I am today. First official Final Fantasy game I played and finished was eight. And even though I have favorites that I would much probably pick over it, if I'm gonna be stuck with one, it's it's gotta be Final Fantasy VIII. And even though this happened like a couple years after, I ended up meeting my now fiance. We've been together for 15 years now. When we were in high school, that's kind of how we clicked was because we both played Final Fantasy VIII. I'd be drawing my fan art of like Final Fantasy characters. And I'd see that she had like, you know, some Final Fantasy VIII art. And I was like, oh, you, you played the game? And she was like, yeah. I was super dismissive, didn't want to talk anymore. And he kept poking at it and he's like, you like Final Fantasy? It's kind of funny because he, he doesn't like to tell this way, but I asked him out. She asked me out. <laughs> She's the one that initiated it. She's the one that said, Oh, I like you. And he's like, well, you mean like your friends? You like your friends. And I was like, no, I like you like you. I was thinking about the relationship between Renoa and Squall and how adorable it was and how forceful Renoa was. And I wanted to be that because I didn't want to lose him either. <laughs> so, such corny stuff to be saying on camera, dude. I've played nearly all of the Final Fantasy since then, and they're all memorable and they're all attaching, but 8 has that, that part of my heart. As a developer, Final Fantasy, when Final Fantasy VII came along, it kind of shocked me. People haven't played the games before and cared about the story, but I think Final Fantasy VII really changed people's perspective of what story meant to a gamer and their connection to the characters. And I didn't have a lot of sort of faith that people would care about narrative in games. And I think Final Fantasy VII showed very clearly that that was a, could be a driving force for people's interest in a, in a game. The first time I played Final Fantasy VII, I was like, oh, there's like a story and just the characters and there's kind of like the cloud was like, like a, had like teen angst, which I was going through at that point in time in my life. And I just, I just really related to it. It just, it made every other game feel like a kid's game after that. Well, it's definitely been a huge influence for me, the Final Fantasy series for, as a developer, as a fan, as a, as a gamer, especially number seven. I think for me, that's probably like the greatest game of all time. The first game that I ever actually watched someone play and enjoyed watching them play it was Final Fantasy VII. I was at my buddy Chris's house and I remember the music being really cool. And I was like, oh, you know, what's this game? So he's explaining it to me. And to me, that's got the best character development of, of any game ever. These characters, even though they're like made up characters, they're still going through these struggles. And that's one of the things for me, like I, I'm able to relate to back in my personal life to say, okay, like, no matter what really happens, I can I can always really overcome if I need to. I think losing myself in these stories with these great characters kind of just helped me cope with the everyday realities of, you know, being bullied and being around people who aren't really as, you know, maybe as accepting. I was a nerd, and video games were, for me, gave me hope that there was something more out there than just getting bullied at school. Final Fantasy IX, the main, the main character, Zidane, kind of goes through some major stuff toward the end of the game, and he feels like he's alone, and there's this really, really beloved sequence by fans where really all of his friends, one by one, come to his aid and remind him that, hey, he's not alone, and there are other people out there like you, and it's gonna be okay. It kind of gives you a window into a different, you know, kind of more accepting world in a way. Even though, if it's not the real world, it still gives you some hope that things can be a little better when you get older and Definitely. things like that. Common misconception that a lot of people have about the Final Fantasy series is that, frankly, we're up to 15. And when they want to start getting into the series, they say, which one do I start with? For people who don't know, they're like, well, do I have to play the first 14 games? And you have to explain to them, no, each game is a standalone title. So you can pick up Final Fantasy 10 
and never have played Final Fantasy 9, 8, or 7. What will end up happening is you'll play Final Fantasy 15, you'll fall in love with the game, and then all of a sudden you're buying an old PlayStation 3 so that you can play 10 and 10 2 and 12 and 13 and you're, you're just gonna fall in love with the franchise and backdate yourself because it's so different every time you play it. God. <laughs> Summons are looking f Summons are crazy. Yeah. This game looks awesome. I feel like this is what would happen if me and three of my friends got sweet Final Fantasy magic powers. This is just like good brothers setting people on fire. <laughs> like I have chills. I seriously have chills right now. It's unreal. This might be the Final Fantasy that kind of brings like a new wave of gamers to Final Fantasy like it did when I was younger. And I was told that this game might challenge my love for Final Fantasy VII, which huge claim, but you never know. I'm ready, Final Fantasy XV. We're ready, we're both ready. So ready we're for so it. Ready.